Hi friends, uh, my name is Shaitanya Patke and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to analyze the first T20 International which took place at the Palekele International Cricket Stadium, Sri Lanka, uh, between the hosts uh, and the visiting India. And uh, this game was won comprehensively by Team India by 43 runs. And with this win, it is a winning start for the uh, coach and combo, coach and captain combo, I beg your pardon, of Gautam Gambhir and Surya Kumar Yadav. Uh, who has been named as the full-time T20 international captain of India and uh, Gautam Gambhir as the head coach of Team India. Uh, both of them are off to a winning start and it was a great game for Team India. Although Sri Lanka tried some fight back but it was too little too late in the end. Uh, the toss was won by the host nation and they invited us to bat first and India scored 213 for 7 in their allotted 20 overs. A phenomenal performance. Uh, the start right from the onset was spectacular. Uh, 74 runs opening partnership uh, between Surya, uh, I beg your pardon, between Yashasvi Jaiswal and Shubman Gill. They tore the Sri Lankan ballers to shreds and just smashed them all around the park. Uh, especially uh, Yashasvi Jaiswal who scored 40, I think of just 20 of 21 deliveries. Very unfortunate to miss out on a well-deserving half century. I could have said he could have scored even more. But that is the intent which is shown by the Indian. Uh, batsman in the previous regime of Rohit Sharma and Rahul Dravid as well. Uh, this was perfectly embodied by Shubman Gill as well. He scored 34 of uh, in less than 20 deliveries. Intent was spectacular from both the openers. Uh, and one good aspect of both of them striking was uh, the opposition will always find it difficult because it is a left hand uh, right hand combination. So field needs to be consistently shuffled. And uh, Su Shubman Gill it is said that T20 is his weakest format. And uh, what you can say? But he is trying very hard. You saw that in the Zimbabwe series as well. He is consciously trying to uh, strike the ball right from the onset in this format. Improve his strike rate. Improve his prospects. And now that he is the officially designated vice captain of the T20 team. So his responsibility of setting up the tone set uh, is even more. Uh, he even put the good deliveries for four. So did Jaiswal. Uh, through all parts of the wicket. Cover drives were magnificent of the pads. Indian batsmen, both of them are world class as we know. Historically, our batsmen have been world class whenever there is something on the pads. Uh, we play, Both of them played the pull shot, the hook shot, the jam, uh, the half pull, half flick shot of, not half pull, half uh, what you can say. Just uh, that slap kind of shot of Shubman Gill through mid wicket that also came to the fore which was good to see. Pull shots and hook shots from Yashasvi Jaiswal. So it was an all-round display. Uh, 74 run partnership was broken when Manindu Hasaranga took the wicket in the 7th over. But afterwards Surya Bhav, uh, the full-time Indian captain uh, came and uh, he scored a magnificent 50 out of just 26 deliveries. We saw all the range that we usually associate Surya Kumar Yadav with. Uh, sweep shots, lap sweeps, uh, inside out drives. Cover drives, lofted shots, shots towards mid off and mid on towards mid wicket. So the whole range was there. And if Surya Kumar Yadav would have at least stayed for 3 or 4 overs, then he could have easily got his 100. But uh, as I usually say, that this team doesn't play for personal milestones, uh, they play for the team. And uh, Surya Kumar Yadav actually got, uh, got out, tried to accelerate the 100, which is a very good sign for Indian cricket. That every each and every player is selfless. Uh, after that, uh, Rishabh Pant also played a spectacular innings of. Uh, 49 of just 33 deliveries uh, which actually uh, continued the momentum which was provided by the openers and Surya Kumar Yadav. So good uh, partnership between Sky and uh, Rishabh Pant as well. Uh, Hardik Pandey unfortunately couldn't impress in this game uh, but some couple of lusty blows towards the latter end uh, by uh, Rian Parag and uh, other batsmen ensured that uh, we reached uh, beyond 200. So the 200 and uh, for Sri Lanka the standout bowler was Mathisha Patirana who gave away 40, 40 odd runs and took 4 wickets. He was expensive but he was in the wickets column. Uh, 214 was always going to be a daunting uh, chase for Sri Lanka but uh, they started off very nicely. 84 runs opening partnership and actually at one stage it looked that Sri Lanka actually have a real shot of winning this game. But soon after the full wicket fell, the partnership between the third wicket uh, was also I think of 56 runs. But after uh, the dismissal of uh, Kusal Mendis, uh, it seemed all over. Uh, despite the fact that Pathum Nisanka tried very hard, he also scored a spectacular 79 of just 48 deliveries. Uh, Indian bowlers are just way too more experienced. We stifled them in the middle overs. Our bowlers bowled extremely well. 
रियान पराग टूवर्ड्स दी एंड टू पिक अप थ्री विकेट्स सो इट इज अ गुड बूस्ट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस फॉर हिम एज वेल वन पॉइंट टू ओवर्स फाइव रन थ्री विकेट्स एंड एक्चुअली इन द पोस्ट मैच द वीडियो विच वॉज पोस्टेड बाय द बी सी सी आई सूर्य कुमार यादव वॉज हैविंग अ चैट विथ रियान पराग एक्चुअली रियान पराग रिवील्ड दैट ही प्रैक्टिस दिस स्पेसिफिक सिनारियो विथ हेड कोच गौतम गंभीर ऑफ वेन एवर द पिच इज ऑफरिंग सम काइंड ऑफ असिस्टन्स और सम काइंड ऑफ टर्न where to put the ball where the ball will spin and the uh, gautam gambhir said just ball stump to stump and the rest of it will take care of himself he also gave credit to indian fielders for catching everything that sri lankan batsman actually hit in the air our fielding is world class and i think with all due respect to other teams across formats we are the best fielding side in the world and we proved that once again in this game as well our fielding was on a superior level as compared to sri lanka couple of wickets were taken by arshdeep singh as well a wicket for akshar patel unfortunately hardik pandey was taken to the cleaners in this game uh, but uh, this happens you know uh, no need to over analyze it mohammad siraj also bowled very nicely three overs gave away just 23 runs and took a solitary wicket and we defeat sri lanka by 43 runs as i said so a winning start and hopefully we continue to momentum on 28 july uh, no rest day uh, the second t20 international will take place at the same venue so how did you like my analysis of the se- uh, first t20 uh, please tell me in the comment section below and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for further notifications we'll meet in the next video till then everyone bye